Hello everybody, Keith Hershey here. Welcome to Be Loved Today. You know, there's something about uh, going home that's always been a good memory in my heart or going to my grandparents' house, houses actually, uh, and during, uh, you know, holidays and, and just, just being with family and uh, cousins and relaxing and eating good. And, uh, you know, I still have great memories of different dishes different grandmas would cook and there's just something uh, that that warmed my heart even I remember uh, when I went away to college and would come home for the holiday there's something about coming home that uh, kind of recalculates everything it settles you in sometimes we get so busy uh, in life and so busy in our journey and so busy with our story and so busy with what we want to do we we forget to just rest in the love of the Father and that's what really be loved today is all about finding our place and space in the beloved this is what God has for you it's what God has for me and this is the joy I think of the imagery really in the Bible store there in Luke 15 where you know the son who left the house and the papa, the, the father, didn't get overwhelmed and chase him down. He let, he let the kid go. He let the kid do what the kid wanted to do and be who the kid wanted to be until he found out in and of himself, apart from the father's love or the father's household, he was bankrupt. And, you know, the father is just sitting there waiting. And the story says that eventually the, the boy turned, the, the one who split, the one who left turned. And he considered, uh, you know, really the, the, the position he had in the father's family. And he, he returned thinking he could be a hired hand, a hired servant. But the father wouldn't have nothing to do. The father saw him from a distance and, of course, rose up and ran toward him and embraced him. And, you know, the, the son was full of excuses and headache and heartache. The father didn't even take time to listen to the excuses that we all have about whatever went right or whatever went wrong or the blame game that we have. But he just embraced him and he restored him to the identity of who he was the entire time, a beloved son. I want you to know there's something about coming home. There's something about being in the father's family that's so rich, that's so real. It's, it's uh, where you find your refreshment. It's where you find your strength. It's where you uh, uh, have a confidence in your identity. Your identity is completely shaped by the Father's love for you. You are accepted in the Beloved. And so if you're wandering in your mindset, if you're wandering in the way you're living, so to speak, just pause a moment and turn and behold the Lamb of God. Behold the love of God in Christ and let the Father uh, embrace you once again and restore you to everything you really have always been the righteous one in Christ Jesus, the redeemed one, the blameless one. You're complete in Christ Jesus, the Bible teaches. So let, let the Father really love you to the place where you're welcome home. And enjoy the place where you belong. You are accepted in the beloved. You know, this is uh, what I'm doing actually tomorrow. I'm leaving on a trip to Latin America. I'm going to be in Costa Rica preaching. And I love to tell everybody wherever we go in our mission organization all around the world, you're accepted in the beloved. Take your place, take your space and let the Father love you today and live in the true identity of who you are in Him. Hope you're having a great day and don't forget because of Jesus, you can be assured God loves you completely, and we do too.